Hey team, Alexandra is here. Uh, today's workout is your legs workout. We're gonna be focusing on our legs. I'm gonna use weights for this one, but uh, you can totally do this with no weights if you don't have any equipment, or if you're just, if you're new to exercising, if you're coming back to exercising after some kind of a break, uh, totally every exercise can be done without additional equipment. Um, and this workout will go a little bit differently. Uh, it's still timed intervals. We have five exercises still. We're gonna do three reps of each exercise before we move on. We have 56 seconds of work, 10 seconds of uh, rest, three rounds of each exercise, five exercises total. So you'll be done in about 20 minutes. Um, okay, I'm gonna give you a quick warm up for about two minutes uh, before we get moving. Or if you have a warm up of your choice, just do that. But we're just gonna get the heart rate pumping, jumping jacks. So big arms, big legs. If you don't wanna jump, just a reminder. Tap and tap. Okay, big arms. Four, three, Two, we're going into fast feet. Fast feet as fast as you can. Lift your right hand, touch the floor, come back. Left hand, touch, but keep moving with your legs. So right, come back. Left, come back. Right, and left. Keep moving. Three, two, and one. Open up your chest, inhale, up. Exhale it away. One more time. Big arms. Squat down. Let's go. Sit. Come up. Sit. Come up. Push your hips forward. When you come up, squeeze the glutes. Keep going. Four. Three. Two. Lunges back. Right and left. Let's go. Step. Come back. Step. Come back. Add the arms. You know these movements. Just to bring the heart rate up and just the warm up, the big muscles. Four, four, three, two, side lunges, right and left, let's go. Side, left leg, side, step, one knee bends, the other extends. Keep going, keep going. Tap, tap. Four, three, two, and one. Hug your right knee to your chest. Bring it back. Quad stretch. Switch legs. In. Bring it back. Okay, separate your feet. Tap the floor. So here we go. Tap, 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 tap. Right, left. Just a little bit of cardio for you. Out, 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 eight more, eight, seven, extend the arm, back, good, four, three, two, and one, good job, you're ready to work, grab your weights, good job, okay, your first exercise, goblet squat, so you're going to grab your weights, separate your feet, wider than your hips, heels and toes out, Bring your weights in front, sit, come back, down, up. So you can have your feet kind of facing forward or even a little bit more out. So kind of similar to plia. And you can have your hands in front. If you move your hands away from your body, you will feel a little bit more of your arm, arms. Or you can have them here, this way. So as I said, 50 seconds each exercise, 10 seconds break, three rounds, chest is lifted, core is tight, we have three, we have two, last one, shake it out, 10 seconds break, we're going to do the same thing, two more times, warming up your inner thighs, your quads activating your glutes, let's go. This goes by quick, just like every other workout we're using. Sit, 
but you don't have to go fast. Like I generally tend to go with the beat of the music, and if the music is faster, that's what I do. But that's totally up to you. Just find what works for you. And if this bothers you, you can come down into pretty much regular squat and even have your hands alongside your legs this way. My flat back, 15 seconds. But if you're keeping your hands in front, move them away from your chest a little bit so your biceps are working too. Three, two, one, recover. One more time. On your mark. Let's go. Last time we're doing it. Down, squeeze the glutes. Push the hips up. Down, up. Inhale, you go down. Exhale, you go up. And we're using weights just as additional weight. Nothing else. So you can totally do this without the weights if you don't have any. Or if you just don't feel like additional equipment is suitable right now. Down. You'll have 10 seconds to go. We have a one minute break before we go into the next exercise. Okay, recover. So, drop your weights, have some water, breathe, walk around. One minute. And I'm gonna adjust my camera just a little bit higher so you can see me better. Oh, I don't know, like this way maybe, I don't know. Recovery. So our next exercise, you don't have to do it just yet, but it's a 3D lunge. So you go side lunge, you go reverse lunge, and then you go curtsy with your heel on, uh, behind, with your knee behind your heel. And then you come up, switch legs. Once again, you can do it with weights or not weights. So with weights, they'll look like this. So side, back, and curtsy. So side, back, and curtsy. Oh, you are. Let's go. We're switching sides. Back and curtsy. And then you go the other way. Reverse and curtsy. Huh? Just find the space. If you're doing it in your backyard or in a big room, so you're not. Uh, you don't have to be in the camera so everyone sees you. It's a three dimensional big movement, so I don't necessarily have the space for it, but you get the deal. And if you don't see my face at some point, that's totally fine. So three lunges, three dimensions, okay? And recover. So I finished on my right, I'm gonna start with left. Two more times. Let's go. Side, back, and curtsy. And then I go back to the right, back, and curtsy, left, back, let it go. So watch your knees at all times. They are tracing your toes. So if your toe is facing forward, then your knees are facing forward as well. Also in the lunge, make sure your knees are not shifting side to side. They're stable right over your ankle. So you have five, four, three, two, one. Recover one more time. This goes by so quick, so quick. On your mark. Right away left leg wherever you finish down and back uh-huh side 
down. You can have your weights in front or you can move them to add additional bicep kind of curl here. But the accent is on legs, obviously. We're working the legs. Uh. Uh -huh. You have 15 seconds. Maybe one more round for each leg. Yes, can you do this one more time? Left. And recovery is coming. Aha, uh -huh. done with this. Drop your weights. This was two. Exercise number two. Our exercise number three is a Romanian deadlift, but it's single leg. We're gonna do 25 seconds each leg. So you stand on one foot, lower down, come up. 25 seconds on each. Now, if balance seems hard for you, if you're just coming back to exercise and keep falling off one leg, be my guest. Do the remaining deadlifts this way with both feet on the ground. You should feel the stretch in the back of your legs and bend forward with a flat back. Whew. So if you're doing both legs down, obviously you're not switching sides. Sides, sides. Okay, on your mark. One of both legs. Let's do this. Let's all do both legs first. And you feel, you decide how it feels. Heels down, toes may come up a little bit. Push your hips forward, flat back. Should feel this deep stretch. Very good feeling, well I think it's a good feeling. In the back of your legs. And those hamstrings, flat back though. And the weights are just here for extra. If you don't have weights, this is your movement. Down, up. 10 seconds. So you're welcome to stay with this option or transition to one leg. Sounds good? Three, two, one, recover. 10 seconds. Choose one leg. We'll switch at 25. Let's go, three, two, one. Let's go. Obviously, this is a little bit slower because you're balancing and you have to stabilize your body. For that, you have to engage your core. 10 seconds on this side. Let's do one more. Switch legs. See if you can do this without touching your other foot to the ground. But you, if you absolutely have to, this is another option. Uh, offset. Weight is in your front leg. One more time. Recover. So yes, if you want to try it this way, this is an option. On your mark, one last time we're doing it. Let's go. Flat <sighs> back. Feeling the stretch in the back of your leg. Engaging the glutes. Engaging your core. Switch legs. Goes by quick. Ah. Look down right in front of you. Do not hyperextend your neck. One more time. Recover. Good job. So this was three. Exercise number three. So for the next one, we're gonna go down to the floor. And once again, we're gonna be switching 
legs. So you got to do the squat. But that's a familiar movement. So you're going to go down onto the floor. We're going to do this. Let's put both weights behind your knees so you don't switch the weight. So knees and hands. Let me move back a little bit. Flat back, core is engaged. You lift it up one leg, and all you do, you lift up and lower. Once again, if you don't have any weights, this is your option. You will still feel your glute. Make sure you are not arching your spine up and down. You gotta keep your core engaged. So let's do it. Three, two, one. Let's go. 25 seconds each leg. Squeeze the what? The glutes. To grab some water, do that. Water if you need to, and then come down. So, if you're using weights, your weights will go up onto your hip flexors. So, feet are hip distance apart, you're gonna lift up, and the weights are right here for extra weight against your butt. Let's go. So full range of motion. The 
this is your first option. Both legs on the ground, full range of motion. But what I encourage you to do is maybe even lift your toes slightly and push up through your heels, up, down, lift, lower, up, down. That's halfway, 25 seconds. Keep going, push, lift, push through your heels. You should feel your glutes fired up, especially after the previous move as well. You have five, four, three, two, and recover. So for the next round, you can stay with what we just did, or you can lift one leg, keep both the weights onto the side, one side, and go single leg. So all 50 seconds on one leg, or both legs. So both legs is this, one leg, is this. And dependent on your weight, you have additional what, 10, 15, 20 pounds working against your glute here. Woo! I definitely feel it. So can you keep your legs straight pretty much so you get a hamstring stretch here at the same time? Ah. Five seconds. We have one minute of work left, you guys. Three, two, and one. If you do one leg, switch your weights to the other side. Lift up the other leg. It's feel good to stretch it out. Let's go. Last 50 seconds. We can do this. And it's going to be a fun day. Especially if you do this workout in the morning. Fire up right away with some strength training. Press up. Woo, definitely feel my glutes, mama. Woo. But we're almost done. Up, down. Ten to go. Three, two, one. Oh, good job. Put the weights down. And that's it. Hug your knees to your chest. Stretch in your glutes. This will feel good. This will feel good. Pull your knees to chest for a few moments. Then roll yourself up and down. Straighten out your legs forward. Bring your arms up. Bend forward. Hip flexor stretch. No, I'm sorry. Hamstring stretch. Come back to the seated position, twist over to one side. Sit bones are down on the floor. Come back to center, over to the other. Come back to center, pull your knees up. Get up to standing. Quad stretch. Bend your standing leg. Tilt your pelvis forward slightly. Yes, and switch sides. Just a quick muscle stretching. But also, if you feel like you can totally do a stretch workout that you have in your arsenal, or you can do some longer stretches, you can also do my fascial release with a foam roller. So whatever feels good. But for the purpose of this class, we are done. We did five exercises, three rounds of each, and I hope you feel, uh, your legs feel it, and I hope you feel great. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good job, you guys.